another one threatened to come here and slit her throat in my home. A central Indiana mother is speaking out tonight about racial bullying and threats at her child's school. That mom says the district in Johnson County didn't address the issue even after her daughter attempted suicide. CBS 4's Mike Sullivan joins us now in the studio with the details of this case. Mike? Well, be warned what you're about to hear can be disturbing for some. But this family hopes their message inspires other parents in the district to come forward if their child has faced similar bullying problems. When as much I as lives matter, so do words. Certain phrases um, saying, I swear to God, I will go to your house and can cut like a knife and slit your effing throat. For a year, Zanya Weaver has been hearing that I look like Mr. Potato Head and Lord Farquaad. The bullying reaching violent levels at Clark Pleasant Middle School. One girl threatening that she's going to uh, beat me. Even at home, she isn't safe. They will stop out here, yell, White Lives Matter. So then I end up with three police reports. You see. A lot of it's because she is black, biracial, and she is gay. Her mother, Deborah Weaver, adopted her from a relative. Naturally, she went to the school for help. The principal has refused to meet with me. He has refused to return any phone calls. As word got around, the bullying got worse. A lot of them's verbal. Um, the main thing is on an app called Discord app. At one point, we had one boy that write uh, the N-word down his arm, pointing at her, telling her to kill herself. Zaniel began listening to the vile recommendations. She had a staple and went across her mouth, and it looked like someone had taken a knife and just went like that. She has been through three different mental health facilities. She wrapped a sheet around her neck, and they caught her as she's making it tighter and tighter. Recently, her family went on social media only to find other parents facing similar racial bullying issues, even the children defending black students. We're trying to make sure all the kids' voices being heard. In a statement, the Clark Pleasant School District says they continue to work with the family of those who have made the allegations. CPCSC does not tolerate bullying. Our teachers and administrators take allegations of bullying very seriously. I don't feel very safe going through the hallways. Always looking over her shoulder. Well, since we began digging into this story, Deborah Weaver says the school now wants to meet with her. Weaver, however, will be turning to an attorney instead. In the studio, I'm Mike Sullivan, CBS 4 News. Mike, thank you.